Do you believe the NRC? Do you believe the government of Japan or our own government? All these entities have extensive track records of deception and dishonesty, and they all have reasons to hide the truth, especially in the case of the Fukushima disaster. The effects of the prolonged station blackout caused by a 9.0 earthquake and 46 foot tall tsunami are catastrophic. Below is from the NRC FOIA documents. Normal operating temperature of the coolant in the spent fuel pool is 30 degrees Celsius. Below from the NRC documents from March 14th, the temperature of spent fuel pool 4 is now at 84 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the water spent fuel pool 4 went up at 4.08 a.m. on March 14th. The temperatures in the spent fuel pool 4 was at 84 degrees centigrade. Below from the NRC documents on March 15, facts to the IAEA to the NRC, release radioactivity from Unit 4 Fukushima Daiichi. Japanese authorities inform the IAEA that the spent fuel pond at Unit 4 is on fire and that radioactivity is being released directly into the atmosphere. On March 15 of 2011, the IAEA was informed by the Japanese authorities that the spent fuel storage pond at Unifor the Daiichi nuclear power plant is on fire. The spent fuel storage pond at Unifor the Daiichi nuclear power plant is on fire and radioactivity is being released directly into the atmosphere. Dose rates of up to 400 millisieverts per hour have been reported at the site. There is a possibility that the fire has been caused by a hydrogen explosion. The IAEA has contacted the World Meteorological Organization and has asked the results of the atmospheric models to be circulated to all member states. The IAEA will issue further information as soon as it becomes available. Below from the NRC FOA documents, Japanese authorities claim that the fire at the spent fuel pool 4 is extinguished 9 hours and 10 minutes after it began. Evidence found at the NRC FOA documents contradicts this claim. As of March 16th, TEPCO has yet to remove the rubble blocking the path of fire trucks and other heavy equipment to the Fukushima facility. Helicopter water drops, the only other method of delivering water to spent fuel pools, are said to be ineffective by NRC officials. Yeah, totally ineffective. Just water by itself. They should have been dumping lead and boron. Subject release of radioactivity from Unit 4 Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. The IAEA was informed by the Japanese authorities that the fire at the spent fuel storage pond at Unit 4 the Daiichi nuclear power plant was extinguished at 2. Below from the NRC FOA documents situation report update shows Unit 4 spent fuel pool in grave danger. Radiation levels are too high to initiate countermeasures at 30 rem an hour. Note the NRC officials were adamant that the lube oil fire of Unit 4 was not a lube oil fire and instead referred to it as a importance high. From Donald Jackson, March 15 of 2011. The chairman joined the phone call around 2015 to confirm the reports of ongoing Unit 4 fire that was reported on CNN. In bulletized fashion below, the attachment is a concise, comprehensive report of the current status. Unit 1 Little Chains, Some Fuel Damage, Southwest Injection Working, Loss of CDMT. Unit 2 New report that primary containment appears intact. Loss of secondary containment. Typical made a hole in a roof to positively vent hydrogen gas. And there's a lot more coming out of there than hydrogen gas. Some fuel damage, less stable SW injection. Unit 3, little change, some fuel damage, southwest injection working. Loss of secondary containment. Loss of secondary containment. <laughs> There is no third containment. Previous fire determined to be a lube oil fire in Unit 4. New fire reported vicinity refueling deck believed to be an H2 fire. Spent fuel pool 4 level reported to be very low. Radiation levels 30 rem an hour due to shine. No firefighting activity due to higher rad levels. It was too high to bring these people anywhere near there. Fire began four to five hours ago. TEPCO plans to remove secondary containment roof or wall section to fight fire externally. And there was no report on Unit 5 or Unit 6. 
Below from the NRC FOI document as the spent fuel pools heat up, access problems in which radioactive mock sludge was a factor, and high radiation levels impede any response to the disaster. Spent fuel pool 4 heating up approximately 80 degrees Celsius. Other items. The IMPO has issued its highest level event notification requiring plans to assess and report on four items including the B5B, the SAMG, the SBO flooding and fire readiness. Additionally, the NRC team arrives this evening. Japanese government is accepting the U.S. government help from military, the Department of Energy, and any other specialties. We did a great job helping them, didn't we? I mean, I don't want to throw those people on the Reagan under the bus. They were very valiant, and they were just there a little bit too late. That's all. It wasn't their fault. They did everything they could. It was reported that TEPCO currently has around 50 staff on site and that five individuals may have received fatal radiation doses during emergency actions. That five people on staff may have received fatal radiation doses. Please refer to this attachment. It has really good information. Very respectfully, Don Jackson. Below from the NRC FOA documents, part one of five, part series, plume modeling direction of plume by elevation from 15th to 18th of March 2011 by the Japan Meteorological Agency. While this modeling may or may not be based on the release of Spent Field Pool 4, it is indicative of where the winds of that time period may have carried the radiation. So at that time those winds were blowing mostly to the east. And one of those plumes Looks like they turned around and over toward the northern part of those Russian islands. Some of it looks like it went over towards Alaska. Then you have, of course, a plume that went over the United States. Assume pollutant release, and they're just doing a model of CCM-137. And they say the start of the emission was on March 15 of 2011. Below are the NRC documents confirmation of damage to wall of Fukushima Unit 4. Because of the replacement work of the shroud of the RPV, no fuel was inside the RPV of Unit 4. No fuel was inside Unit 4. The temperature of the water in the spent fuel pool had increased to 84 degrees Celsius. It was confirmed that a part of the wall in the operation area of Unit 4 was damaged. U4 Zerk Fire. Unit 4 Zerk Fire. Below from the NRC documents. From Margie Kotsalius, Japan, you still there? Japan, you still here? That was the subject line. Holy motherfucker. Japan, you still here? Hey, I heard that we sent another team of nine people to Japan and that Chuck Castro is leading it. Do you know who else on the team? I'll see what I can hear from my side. I couldn't sleep again last night. Michelle was doing a shift in the ops center, protective measures team, last night. She texted me, U2 X Vessel, Unit 4 Zerk Fire, S Spent Fuel Pool Catastrophe. This is how they talk to each other, but they're not willing to tell any of us this. Below from the NRC FOA documents, Ministry of Economy and Trade Industry, news release of the 10:30 March 15 orders are given to extinguish the fire uniform and prevent its recriticality. Teco reported NISA the event, the unusual increase of radiation dose at the site boundary, falling under the Article 15 Act on special measures concerning nuclear emergency preparation regarding the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power. Teco reported to NISA the event, unusual increase of radiation doses at the site boundary. Following on the Article 10 of the Act of Special Measure Concerning Nuclear Emergency Preparedness. According to the Nuclear Regulation Act, Ministers of Economy, Trade, and Industry issued the directives as follows. 
for Unit 4, to extinguish fire to prevent the occurrence of recriticality. For Unit 2, to inject water to reactor vessel promptly and to vent. And what do we know about that when they tried to vent? A lot of these could not be turned by hand. They had to be turned with batteries and they did not have electricity to turn those systems. And they were scavenging, looking for batteries to, to, to open these. So they had a hard time opening these valves. So why, that's why we had a hydrogen explosion because they couldn't vent it. Below from the NRC FOA documents emails from March 16, 2011. Unit 4 situation deteriorating. Spent fuel pool water inventory is lost. Dose rates around Unit 4 make entry impossible. Items to note. U2 contaminated may be better shaped than previously expected despite press reporting. Unit 4 situation is deteriorating. Spent fuel pool water inventory is lost. Japanese military's plan to drop seawater over Unit 3 and probably Unit 4 yesterday, but the plan was abandoned due to the high dose rates. The dose rates around Unit 4 make entry impossible at this time. The skeleton crew of 50 that had been held on site, minus the 750 workers were evacuated, had moved off site approximately 0.5 miles away due to dose concerns. As of 0600 this morning, Japanese media reported from the NPR indicated that the crew might not yet be back on site. The evacuation area around Fukushima Daini plant has been expanded to 20 kilometers. This information could change rapidly as the day progresses. Daini. Look at that. Below from the NRC FOA documents emails from March 16 of 2011. The walls of Unit 4 spent fuel pool have collapsed. There is no water in there. Rich, please review and comment for distribution to our branch. In a briefing with Joe Glitter that just ended, we were informed that the situation is not much worse in Japan. The walls of Unit 4 spent fuel pool have collapsed and there is no water in there. There were a large number of fuel assemblies in that pool and that fuel may no longer be intact. The radiation levels are increasing so much that it may prove difficult to work on the other five reactors at the site, which could lead to more fuel damage and releases. The NRC plans to man the operations center at 24C for a long period of time and other NRC task groups are being established. If you have the BWR spent fuel expertise and would like to volunteer for a shift in the OC, please let me know. They're trying to set up a rotation of working four to five days at hour per shift and then a couple days off. Also as more of our technical experts get assignments it may be difficult to complete licensing actions. <laughs> yeah it might be difficult to give out some new licenses with in Fukushima blowing in your face and said the Japanese response will take priority over the metrics also Harold Chernoff over the metrics spent fuel pool re-rack reduced contaminating testing that will have to be approved by the NRR LT prior to assurance we absolutely know that the pool number four though the walls have collapsed that you can imagine yes Jasko said so again just to repeat we believe Pool number four is dry, and we believe that one of the other pools is potentially structurally damaged. Chuck Castle, that's correct. Jasco, okay, and again. Castle, that's the best we know. Jasco, yes. And we certainly know, I think we absolutely know that pool number four, though, the walls have collapsed. We certainly know, that's what he says. Certainly know. And our chairman, Jasco, okay. On pool number four, Jasco, and again, because I'm going to get asked this question, where's that coming from? I'm going to say it's from a team that is in Japan that is embedded, that is working closely with the Japanese utility and the Japanese regulatory agency. Is that correct? Castro, correct. Blow from the NRC FOA documents. You cannot get inventory coolant above the bottom of the fuel. Castro, Yes, they can't keep, that's what I was told last night, you cannot get inventory above the bottom of the fuel. Bill Ruin, no, what's Jim told me? So it's drained. Right. Castle, right. Bill, yeah, right, right. Castle, that's what I was saying. You can't get water in it. Bill Ruin, yes, because there's no fuel pool left. Castle, right. Unit 3, he believes. So when they tried to put water in there, they couldn't because the walls had collapsed. There was no structure to hold that water because those walls were gone. 